Hi Taurus, so I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll see the big ideas or awareness for the week. We'll get some guidance, look at possible outcomes, and we'll get additional information from the Oracle cards. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. have the Knight of Wands. We have a real sense for you this week of activity, of taking charge, of getting involved. This Wands energy wants to um, experience life to its fullest and uh, is not going to watch life pass them by. And so um, this is really a sense of what is it that you like to do? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel alive? and get out there and do it. So if there's a certain hobby that you've been thinking about, maybe this is the week to, to write the check, to sign up for the class, to get a buddy to do it with you, or to take a class, or to go to a social uh, engagement where you can network and meet others. But there's a sense of movement here and of wanting to jump right in and to get involved and to do the things that you enjoy doing. So again, it's your desire for growth and to, to access your power, your own personal power in, in evolving and how you like to involve with the Knight of Wands is by getting involved, is doing things, is, is taking charge and, um, you know, finding fulfillment in the things that you like to do. So here we have, in terms of awareness, we have another court card, Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups sits here and she's looking really devotedly at the cup. It's, it's quite an extravagant cup. So that's uh, the Queen of Cups, first, first thing that comes to mind is that she's so loving and it's unconditional love. And she's so intuitively aware of others, mindful of what's going on and how people are feeling, tunes into people's feelings. So this could be energy that you're giving to someone else that maybe you're the queen of cups and you're providing the loving, listening, caring, sensitive person who understands others and what they're going through. Or maybe you're receiving this type of love from someone else. So she's a master of understanding emotions, emotionally uh, intelligent and intuitive. The other piece would be to pay attention to your intuition as well. The combination between um, understanding people's emotions and your own with intuition is really quite powerful. Ooh, nice, okay. Okay, so we have the lovers in terms of guidance, major arcana card. And the lovers, this would tell us to pay attention to our meaningful relationships this week, that this is a union and it's a, um, it's a connection where there's passion and where there's intimacy and desire. And uh, whether this is a relationship that's going to lead to something more committed like a marriage or an engagement. This could be decisions that those who are in this position could be thinking of. For those that are married, you could be working on things within your marriage, building a better communication, developing bonds or new activities together that strengthen your bond. So with the lovers, we have a focus on the relationship. So next to the lovers, we do have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands often leads us to the idea of feeling burdened or overwhelmed or having too much on your plate, that you're doing too much. So if you're doing too much within a relationship, you know, if it's not, if the, act, uh, the responsibilities or the obligations or the commitments are not 
um, equally given out. You may feel tired. You may feel put out by having to do more than your fair share. Often, this may, for some, it may relate to feeling the burden of debt. But there's a sense of, yeah, this is pushing up the, the wands up the street. That's a lot of energy. It's a lot of uh, effort. Yes, it shows strength and determination, but ultimately, it could very well tire you out. It could lead to resentment or um, just feeling disappointed that others are not picking up their fair share. Communicate, delegate, ask someone to help, particularly with respect to a relationship. If we're focusing on a relationship and if one party feels that they're doing too much, say what you want to say. There's a nice way to say things to get help and to maybe open up someone's eyes, to help work with, within the relationship. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, we see the Four of Cups and this man sitting below the tree, looking in the direction of the Three Cups, doesn't even notice the little puff cloud handing him the cup because he can't see, he's not looking at his, all around, he's not aware of everything, he's just focused on this little section. A couple things, it's fine to take time out from life and to take time out from chaos or feeling busy or feeling overwhelmed and to consider what's going on, to contemplate, to reflect, to find some peace in solitude. Often we may associate this card with feeling stagnant or dis dissatisfied. You may feel a little disappointed about this situation of feeling overwhelmed. The key and the trick is not to stay to, under this tree too long, that you have to get back into a position where you're going to feel good. So again, it goes to, I think, towards communication through love and communication and, and making a move perhaps to say what you need, how you can have your needs met so that you don't miss opportunities, that you don't miss information, you don't miss uh, what's going on perhaps in the, within the big picture. So in terms of possible outcomes between action and being emotionally present and aware, paying attention to relationships and perhaps the amount of energy that's given within the relationship. Here's the lovely card of the Ace of Pentacles. The hand offering the giant pentacle, the portal here, this beautiful abundance represented in this illustration. And this goes to the potential for you to be abundant within your life, not only abundant with money or stuff, but spiritually abundant, abundant with happiness and joy and loving relationships and prosperity across the board. How do you get there though? It's not a given. The universe just isn't saying, I'm giving it to you. You have to put in the work. You have to try to use some of these attributes of the pentacles, which is grounded, practical sense. Have a plan. Have a plan to build the comfort within your life. Stick to the plan. Water the plants to make them grow. You know, hammer the nail securely to build the table. And the ace of pentacles is the promise or the potential of it, but really it's you have to do the work and you have to keep your eye on what you're doing. And you have to nurture and take care of the seeds to build this prosperous and abundant life. So very interesting. Let's take a look for you of an affirmation for the week or meditation point. Gaia's garden, Gaia's garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. Again, reaping what you sow. It's up to you to nurture it, to plant it, and to water the plant and make sure that it grows. Beautiful. 
And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now's the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Well, versus thinking of victory, standing your ground and saying your truth and communicating clearly is simply an effective strategy to deal with the little things that creep into our relationships or into our life that can become problematic. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. A beautiful card. Successful relationships and decisions that go toward uh, whether a relationship will be successful is a willingness to compromise. It's a willingness to communicate. It's a willingness to listen and to change. So uh, simply lovely for you. I hope that you have a great week. If you found something helpful here, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.